In this video, I'll show you how to use the speech to text feature in Filmora 11 to automatically create SRT subtitles for your videos. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So let's begin by creating a new project. And I already have a video that I want to have converted. That is the audio converted from speech to text. Now let's just drag and drop it. Here we go. And then let's just uh, put it on the timeline. There's our video. By default, if you notice, there are some icons that are missing from the timeline. Now let's just make this short. It's a short video, about two minutes. This icon is a speech to text icon and it automatically allows you to convert the video and audio files. And that is the audio version of it to SRT subtitles. Now, if I click on it, you'll see the new speech to text parameter. You can set the language of the audio to be transcribed, whatever the language of this is in. And at the time of recording this video, there are about 18 languages uh, supported or variations of uh, either language that is English, US, English, UK, ETC. So you can see all the different languages supported at the time of recording this video. Now, you can select the file to be converted either a clip selection that we have selected this clip. So you can individually select a clip or the entire timeline sequence. So if you had multiple clips, they are all going to be automatically transcribed into SRT subtitles. Now, the last checkbox here is transcriptions are automatically merged to the timeline. I believe you'd want this because if you want your subtitles to be synchronized to the timeline, then ensure that you select this so that uh, your subtitles are going to be in the right place where you want them. Now, one thing I'd like you to note is that this is a paid feature. And uh, if we look at the documentation, uh, sorry about that, uh, you'll see that uh, the speech to text feature uh, allows you or gives you 30 minutes. And I believe it's per month to use this feature. Uh, my take is that that is a little bit limited, especially if you do a lot of videos. Uh, but hopefully in future, this is going to be increased. That is the quota is going to be increased. Now, here we are. Uh, if you're satisfied with your selection, just click on OK. Once you click on OK, if you're logged in, um, logged in, it's going to show you the transcoding, uploading the file uh, for transcription, and it's going to show you the time remaining for your allocation. Now, this is pretty awesome. And uh, it's already now doing the transcription and it's completed. It's pretty awesome. Uh, really depends on uh, if you've tested it out before, I've tested it out and that's why I believe it's been that fast, but it's not taking a lot of time. Now, let's close this out. And here is our subtitle uh, in Filmora, automatically generated. So one thing you need to note, this is not going to be perfect, but you can make changes to it. So let's play it a little bit. In this video, I'll show you how to add effects to an entire video track in Caden Live. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So when you look at it, it's pretty awesome. It generated a subtitle and added it to a media bin here and then added it to a timeline. Pretty awesome. If you want to make any edits to this subtitle, you can just double click on it. And once you double click on it, the edit subtitle dialog box is going to open. On this section, you'll see the time codes and then you'll see the text. So you can make any edits by clicking inside the text box. And once you place a cursor where you place it, you'll also see it here. And something that is really awesome, you'll be able to see the, the audio on the timeline down here. So we can just uh, uh, do this uh, hit backspace and capitalize the I that we have in this video. And then we can add a comma just after video. And you'll see your changes in real time happen on this particular section. In this video, I'll show you how to add effects to an entire video track. Let's say we put the track with an A. That's okay. And then we can just uh, capitalize Caden Live and then put a full stop. So, uh, and then now uh, we begin the W with a capital. Now, you may need to make any edits to this section so that you can have the welcome begin as its own subtitle. And you can always do that by adding a subtitle from this section but I'll not do that. I just want to show you how this first session looks like. In this video, 
I'll show you how to add effects to an entire video track in Kden Live. Looks pretty awesome. Simple, easy, automatically generated. Just some few punctuations here and there. And maybe one of the few things that I'd recommend is that hopefully punctuation is going to be included in future versions of the speech to text feature. It would really save a lot of time, especially repunctuation, capitalizing, ATC. But let's assume you're satisfied with your results. Just click on OK. And now you have your subtitles. You can just click OK here. And now you have your subtitles appearing all the way to the end. Now, that is the speech to text feature in Filmora 11. Works really well, uh, needs just some few tweaks for you to make the punctuations and the capitalizations of the different aspects. If you'd like to export your subtitles, then it's pretty easy. With your timeline selected here, just right click on it and then click on export subtitle file. Click on that and by default, it goes to the Wondershare Filmora SRT's uh, subtitle and uh, I hope that it would be easier if that give us the option to save this in our preferred location and with our preferred title and more or less if it adapted to the title of the video that you're actually working on. But that is how you can use the speech to text feature in Filmora 11 to automatically create SRT subtitles for your videos. That's it from me. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.